Hey everyone, Jason here, and I just wanted to give a quick update regarding our snowboard this week that's really inspired by a customer that reached out to us because what they were looking for was a dual inline package FPGA module, so a dip form factor FPGA module, and actually our snowboard fits really well for that. Now, we hadn't really even thought about it in those terms before because we sell it without any headers or without any kind of pins in there or any kind of headers mounted to it because a lot of the customers that are buying these from us actually integrating them right onto a board that they already have or they're soldering these right down and that's how they're integrating it into their design. But the truth is, is if you were to add some pins to the outside rows of the snowboard, it becomes a very convenient dual inline package form factor, which makes it, of course, very nice to be able to just push right onto a breadboard and be able to use it for your prototyping and your testing and things like that and it just fits right in there. It looks like I just barely made it on that line. I wasn't really looking at what I was doing there. But anyway, that works really well. Now, you'll see that in addition to along the sides here with these pins, what I've also done is I like to add some additional right angle headers here at the bottom and then off to the side because that allows me to get access to the FTDI port for programming the sketches and for updating with Open Accelerate for updating the new FPJ images. And then out of the bottom here is where I can get access to the I squared C bus and just makes things nice and clean for prototyping purposes. And so I can take a nifty little board like this for doing my FTDI breakout, and I can go right on the end, and very easy to access and use, and then leaves me a little real estate around here to put other things on the board. Now, of course, you'll also notice that we've got these other I.O., kind of that grid there, and those are not gonna be very convenient to add pins to and push down. In fact, they won't even fit into a breadboard like this because we offset them on purpose. We wouldn't want someone pushing it in because of the way they're oriented, you'd end up shorting those. So uh, if you wanna use those and you wanna use it on a breadboard, you have to add some headers that actually probably go up and you could easily connect to them. But I just wanted to share that idea. And really, again, it is thanks to a customer that uh, reached out to us this week because what they're looking for was a dual inline package FPGA module. And if that's what you're looking for, I want to encourage you to check out Snow. Go out to aloriumtech.com slash SNO. You can learn more about our snowboard powered by an Intel Max 10 FPGA and all the cool qualities of our Accelerate board with the Arduino compatibility, ability to take advantage of existing accelerator blocks that can help you do some things faster, better out in that FPGA hardware, even create your own. So check that out um, and let us know what you think. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks.